You guys, we made it here to Doha. We're walking around and I do not feel safe. This place is crawling with Hamas operatives. We literally just came across some future Hamas terrorists. Look at that. Look at this. I don't know what it says, but it probably says something about Hamas. Looks like a Hamas command center to me if I've ever seen one. We're interviewing for the Hamas leadership role later on today. Wish us luck. <laughs> Hoping to join this fine organization. You guys, we, we're here in the Middle East. Uh, we've decided to join the war on terror, on the side of terror. I mean, that's just so sketchy. Look at that. It's definitely got some Hamas sleeper cells in there for sure. Danger, Hamas. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up. Look, this Hamas command center is still under construction. See, you don't know what these words mean. That's why you have me here. This is telling you where the next Hamas meetup is. No good, no good. Don't do it. See, you might think that this is a happy family, but really, this boy is being sent off to the Hamas training center. <laughs> Look how happy the parents are that their kid is gonna be going off to be a terrorist. Look at this, that literally says Hamas Center. I mean, I don't know how more glaringly obvious we can be here. I'm shook. <laughs> I'm, <gonna kill> you. <laughs> I'm shook. I think it would also be one thing if there was no historical precedent for all these stories, but like Israel's been doing this for literally decades. I mean, they, they started the, the war with Lebanon in 1982 by bombing a Palestinian children's hospital and killed 60 people. They've been bombing, hot, maybe, you know, the, the whole idea of... This is the contextual framing that they do. They, yeah, they, they, they everything start started on October 7th. Just focusing on the 7th. Right. I think it's also, just going back to like the official consistency, is like right now, they moved away from the babies to like now race. Yeah. And the whole main point of that is to kind of feel, continue, like, okay, like, look, they raped women, so we need to continue the genocide, obviously, mm. until we get rid of Hamas. And that's what they're trying to convince us. If that's actually their strategy, is to lie about something. Yeah. And then the conversation becomes a debate on whether or not they, did they do it or not. And then they'll quietly say that they actually did. Yeah. The Palestinian, the release of the president, the difference couldn't be greater. Israeli parents peacefully are the released children. Palestinian ex are cheered at the terror march. Oh my goodness. That's disgusting. You guys, we just received some top secret information regarding Hamas. We are on our way to investigate. Guys, we're, we're hot on the trail. I think we, we, we found them. We found the tunnels, y'all. There they are. Wow, holy moly. We found the Hamas tunnels. More tunnels, guys. More tunnels. Wow. Of course, there are pigeons here, but that's just to throw you off, you see? The pigeons are in on it, too. Okay, look, there's a tree. What's behind the tree? Is it Hamas? I don't know. Let's run. Oh my god, more tunnels. It's a fucking network. Holy shit. You guys, it is our mission to bring you the very best in vibes-based reporting, okay? Look at what we just found. Groundbreaking. This is clearly a portal to a Hamas tunnel. You turn that, that blue wheel, you enter a sick world of terrorism, okay? Look at this, we found some Hamas glyphics. Look at this, see this right here? Translation, there is a list. I don't like it. The vibes are off. We always go strictly by vibes alone. No evidence, no facts needed. You guys, we cracked the code, we did it. We're outside of the Ha and Moss headquarters. I know what you're thinking. Seems pretty innocuous, right? We're in downtown Doha in some mall. Let's go ahead and pan over to the right. Looks like a typical clothes store, right? You think, oh, they're just selling clothes. What's the big deal? No, wrong. It's a front, it's a cover. Oldest trick in the book. Don't be fooled by the liberal media. A clothes store? Really? Inside that store, pure, unadulterated terrorists. Look at this, what kind of satanic terrorist ritual is this? What is he doing? Is he praying to the god of terrorism? I don't like it. Special offer? I've got a special offer for you kids. Just say no to terrorism. Where are they? But that's what it is. I mean, these people are being ethnically cleansed from their own land. 
And yes, they are being genocided. And, um, you know, it's, we feel hopeless, we feel helpless, but what can we do? Uh, so I'm a teacher, I'm a, you know, I feel like my skill set is to communicate and uh, articulate ideas and spread messages. And so that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. What about the audience? I'm, I want, I'm more interested in to see where do you think your message is reverberating oh, right. with? Yeah, who yeah. is well, who's listening to it? Yeah. Who's watching it? Who's yeah. liking it and spreading it? And where are you getting feedback from? So ideally, I mean, for anybody who is in the business of getting their message across, you'd want to hear back on well, whether that message was received. I don't really pay attention to those things. I'm on, you know, I'm using a social media platform uh, that is very popular. Uh, this is what we have now. Uh, and, you know, decades ago, you didn't have content creators. You didn't have singular influencers. It was more important for media corporations to set the agenda. But like they were saying earlier today, it's like the influencers, the content creators are now becoming more and more powerful in this age of social media where you can pick up your phone and you can become the media itself. And I think that's a powerful tool. And I want to use that to, you know, promote working class values and principles and to call out, you know, injustices, social injustices. I mean, how many people in the world know that Israel didn't, under international law, Israel has no right to defend itself? How many people know that, you know, Hamas is an armed resistance group struggling for human rights? Uh, you know, there's two social groups in question here. One has human rights and one does not have human rights. But Hamas is classified as a terrorist group by the European Union, yes, because the United States, Israel. Right, because it's terrorism when poor, vulnerable, defenseless people try to fight back against a militant police state. But when that, when that rich, militant police state bombs a defenseless population, that's called democracy promotion. You know, it's just a double standard at all times. I don't know what to do except for satirize it, you know? Look, I understand that a lot of you out there are skeptical of my reporting from Qatar about Hamas, but I mean, how are you gonna argue with me on this, okay? Bro, they have their own airport. Like, what? Hamas International Airport. I don't know how much more clear we could be. Nixon ordered Cambodian genocide. Clinton sent cruise missiles to Sudan. People died. Obama gave the orders to do drone strikes. Invaded Nicaragua in 85.